Patient Care Report, PCR. Hi, my name is Angie Lomelli, and I am an EMS instructor. Thank you for stopping by, and we hope you enjoy the video. To complete your clinical experience assignment, you will need to submit three different forms. Students will need to submit three different documents to complete their clinical documentations packet, which includes one of the clinical documentation record, also known as the preceptor form, and serves as the cover sheet. Ten patient care reports, also known as PCRs. One of the clinical experience summary reports. This form highlights the skills and procedures that EMT student is able to provide out in the field, and it is important to bring a hard copy. When the EMT student arrives at their clinical rotation, it is important to remember three simple steps. Step one, bring a hard copy of your clinical documentation record. Step two, show the preceptor the form and discuss your skill level and limitations. Step three, ensure that you get your skills signed off and you acquire your preceptor's name, initials, and rank before you leave your rotation. If you should forget step three, you must return to locate your preceptor on another day to acquire the information. Otherwise, your packet will be rejected. Once you have completed your clinical rotations, you will place the clinical documentation record as the cover sheet on top of your clinical documentation packet. The patient care report provides a fill-in template for ease of documentation. Handwritten PCRs must have black ink with capital letters. Studies show that writing in all capital letters improves readability and legibility. Scribble marks and scratch marks are not allowed to cover up errors. Documents with more than one scribble mark will be rejected. The student will be required to rewrite and resubmit the PCR. If a student makes an error, it is acceptable to place a thin line across the word or set of words, as long as the word beneath is visible, but this is only limited to two errors per document. Students are not allowed to write the patient's name on the PCR, but instead the student must write their name and immediately after they may write down the patient number to keep track of who they're writing about. Typed reports may have a combination of uppercase and lowercase words. No lowercase letters on words that require capitalization, such as names, titles, streets, cities, and so on. The clinical experience summary form allows the student to summarize their overall experience from one or two clinical rotations. The summary includes three questions and the student must provide two paragraphs per question. One, what specific treatment did you do for the patient and what did you learn from the care being provided by the rescue team? Two, what did you learn from the clinical experience that will help you with your patient care in the future? Three, which patient that you encountered taught you the most? How did the rescuers or healthcare provider's intervention change the patient's outcome to make the situation improve? The clinical experience summary will be the last page in your packet. The clinical documentation packet will be due one week after your last clinical rotation. High quality forms are submitted one week after last clinical, effort and accuracy placed on work, typed or legible penmanship, detailed with accurate information, scanned and not photographed, the perfect report, all boxes are filled in, clean, clear and neatly typed, detailed patient assessment and treatment, free of typos, poor report, dark photocopy, no times noted, missing details, poor penmanship. If you didn't write it, it didn't happen. Your report may end up in court and it reflects on you. It's your memory on paper. Now that you have completed all of the forms, be sure to have them in order so that the preceptor cover sheet is first, followed by the 10 PCRs and ending with the three question summary. And now, a recap of your clinical documentation packet. The packet must include the following. Students will submit three different forms. One clinical documentation record that serves as your cover sheet. Ten patient care reports. 
and one clinical experience summary, which will be the end page. Stacked and scanned in the order stated. Best of luck in your endeavors. Thank you for watching Lomeli EMS Productions. Please take a moment to like, subscribe, share, and comment, and don't forget to hit that notification button for future videos. Remember, live for today and learn for tomorrow.